Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain unit parabolic signal. So to explain this topic, unit parabolic signal, first I'll explain what is the basic definition of this, how we can define that by function, then we will see graphical representation of unit parabolic signal and then I'll explain you relationship of unit parabolic signal with ramp signal and with unit step signal. So all those things that I'll be discussing in this session. So let us begin this session with first what is the function of unit parabolic signal. So when we talk about function of unit parabolic signal then that is actually t square by 2 for t greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 for t less than 0. So for continuous time this is the function of unit parabolic signal. It will be t square by 2 for t greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 for t less than 0. So as if you plot this you will be finding it is having this kind of shape. Parabolic shape. Right. So at 0 it is 0 and parabolic shape that is there with this. So for example if I say over here value is 2 for time. If you place that over here t square by 2. So 4 square by 2 it will be 2. So here even magnitude will be 2. For 3 if I say here it is 3. So 9 square by 2 sorry 3 square by 2 so 9 by 2 so that is 4.5. So here this value will be 4.5. See that is how these values will be there. Right. And for discrete time we represent that by x of n and it will be n square by 2 for n greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 for n less than 0. So at 0 it will be 0 at 1 if you place value n square by 1 and uh, 1 square by 2 so that is half so here it is half for second sample it will be 2 square by 2 it will be 2 for 3 third sample it will be 3 square by 2 means it will be 4.5 and so on you will be getting that value as per n square by 2 and for n less than 0 means for minus 1 for minus 2 it will be 0. So see this is how this function of unit parabolic signal that will looks like. Now as I have told you I will explain you relationship of unit parabolic signal with ramp signal and step signal. So when you do integration when you do integration like see if you do integration of unit step signal so that will result into ram signal here i'll be explaining integration right so as if you do integration of step signal that will result into ram signal and if you do integration of ram signal so if you do that ram means t dt so that integration that will be t square by 2. So that is actually parabolic signal. And if you go in reverse direction like differentiation. So differentiation of parabolic signal, unit parabolic signal. So that will be constant will be half take it outside dt square by dt that is actually 2t so half into 2t so that is t means it is ram signal and if you difference <coughs> if you further differentiate this then that will result into unit step signal. Right. So this is how differentiation and integration will gives you relationship 
of RAM with parabolic and RAM with unit step. So these are the basics which is so essential in solving examples. So one should know all those basics. Now one more thing that we should know and that is area covered by parabolic signal that will be always unity. Area covered by parabolic signal that will be always unity. Like see if you calculate this area up to infinite. So this area covered by unit parabolic signal is always unity. So this is what we should know. Sometimes this type of statement based question that is coming in gate examination. So we should be ready for this type of questions based on statement. So when you calculate area covered by unit parabolic signal that will be always unity. And to have relation of parabola with ramp we need to do differentiation and to have relationship of parabola with step we need to do differentiation twice. So that is how you will be getting relationship of parabola with step by having double differentiation. So I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future I will place videos which will be helping students. Thank you so much for watching this video.